Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your saves so they are never lost and basically what that means is that you're never going to lose them. They are going to be stored online on a, on a server or cloud such as Google Drive, uh, Mega Upload and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you might want to do is Go to my link in the description, download the cloud saves kit, and then extract it here. And then take the inside of those folders, um, specifically the cloud folder, and go to your, here on your windows, go to your profile, your user profile, and paste it here. here and then what you want to do is you want to read the instructions just to make sure that you get it like read the instructions first of all and now let me explain what this is um, this basically is one big folder that you will connect to a service which I will show you in a minute and from here you will cut and paste folders that have saves from the original folder location to this location basically you move them here and here they will be more saved. If you follow this guide, it will be saved on the on the server online, so you will not have a problem. It's like an automatic backup. And this happens in real time. So let me show you. For example, I have just codes here. So how to use this? Every time you get a new game, you find the original location of the game. In this case, it was here. What you want to do is, for example, on just codes that I play right on the background, uh, it's on Square Enix. I found it online. I search on Google what is the original location, let me show you. And I type, for example, just cause, three, uh, save location. And you should be able to find it, but it says it's here, for example, so we know it's this folder. And here I can see even the files and the saves. So what you want to do is you want to cut it with uh, Ctrl X or cut and paste inside the cloud, inside the saves folder, here. And then what you want to do is you want to right click on the delete, basically on both of those. You want to right click, there is descriptions here on how to use it. But basically you want to replace the inside of the quotation marks with the original location. In this case it was here. So I copy the address, I paste it here. If it's a user profile you want to write your user. In this case it's Dennis. Uh, and if, the, if that folder is from a company and inside there is more games, then you will be even better because you, you will have more games in the same folder backing up. And then you want to save it. Just like that. And right click edit the other one. You want to edit both the two files. And here, what you want to do, this is maybe the more complicated part is you want to paste again the address that it came from, the original address, basically. And if it's a subfolder, you can add the parent folder, which is in this case Square Enix. And then you will want to replace the second quotation marks with your new location, just like that. Of course, this is only an example and you can place this folder, this cloud folder anywhere that you want. This is more or less how you do it. So this tells to the, if you save this, Okay, if you save this and you go in here, first you want to first you want to run this. This deletes the original location, so be careful. Make sure to back it up first in the original location. This deletes it just in case it cannot find. Like if it's already there, it cannot place it there. So what the second command is, the link saves folder command. If you run it as an administrator, you can see that it created a link here in the original location. This means 
that every time the game tries to find the save, it will go there, which is the original location, and then it will be redirected to your new location. Which means you can have all the saves that you want, or you need, in one single folder. Now why this is important is because you want to back up this folder, any drive that you wish, any cloud that you wish. And you can do this in real time, and I will show you in a minute. You always want to run it as an administrator, by the way. If the folder is already here, it cannot place the shortcut, so what you want to do is you want to run this first, the delete option. This does exactly what it says. It deletes it. Now it will not delete it because we didn't write the correct uh, option. This will not delete it because we didn't apply the correct address, but if, we, if you write the correct address in the file, it will most likely delete. Ah, here. Just because no, we have to change it to Quirinix. Okay, let's try it. And as you see, it uh, deleted it from the original location. And if we run the second command, here, it applied it again. Okay. Okay, once you did all those steps and you understood how the system works, what you want to do is you want to go to your browser and find any cloud service that you wish. I personally use Mega Upload because it has the best response time and the best synchronization time so far. Maybe there are better services, I'm not aware of that. And what you want to do is you want to download, you want to make an account first, of course. And you want to download Megasync. Or any sync program that you, that you need for your own service. Usually they come with services like that and with programs like that. So you download it, I have it downloaded already. For me it's here. And you want to right click on it on the tray down there and go to settings. It says sync. Of course yours may be different, but uh, once you once you have backup all of your saves in one folder, what you want to do is you want to go to your service online, upload the folder, and then you can synchronize them like that. Add. You can add the local folder which is in your computer. In this case it's the cloud folder that I made. And in the second one you want to go and go to your drive and find it, find the copy of it and select it. And then both of those folders will be synchronized. Every time you save it will go to this main folder and then from this folder it will go to the cloud and it will be saved there safely. In case something happens to your computer you are not going to lose your data. You can just download them again and have them on your computer and they will be always safe and synchronized no matter what in real time. There are some services however that may be faulty. For example Google didn't respond well with it. Mega Drive is the best I use so far because there may be different options. Usually this happens because the, until, by the time the save happens, those services they are not synchronizing in real time. They are not responding in real time. They only respond, for example, every five minutes, every two seconds. Those do not work because it will mismatch the saves. I hope this is understood. This is what I use usually for saving my backups. You can see that I have so many. So yeah, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and have a great day.